today's Tuesday, October 20th. And um, I woke up this morning, it was a little rough after that hike from the subway. This morning I'm on the east side walking through some washes, looking for some fall color. And as you can see behind me, I found a bunch, found some beautiful reds and uh, a bunch of oaks too that are in transition that look really cool. One of the things with this year's fall color though is that uh, the maples, you can tell, are kind of stressed from not getting a lot of water this year. So even though they're fully red, they're still they're kind of muted and a little haggard looking. You'll see what I mean here. The one thing I'm finding though is that the, the oaks themselves are especially cool. Um, I think that those are probably a little more attractive looking than even the maples this year. Just the way the leaves are in transition from green to brown is super cool especially in some areas i've been finding they're kind of nestled in with the maples and the combination of the two is really cool um, although i've yet to find any composition to use that so what i got going on here is i picked out a composition looking up the wash towards these red maples um, and then a couple oak trees in there too just trying to kind of follow the curve of the wash here in order to get the shot that I wanted to get it composed the way I wanted to so that I didn't include the sky or this other patch of oaks that are on the side over here I had to switch to the 70 to 200 so I'm shooting at just about 90 millimeters f11 shutter speed of 1 over 5 ISO 100 and then I just focused for the branch that's out in the middle of the wash here and then this bush that's on the left side that's framing my composition one of the challenges I have with these shots too is trying to get the right focal point, especially with branches of leaves. Um, it's sometimes kind of hard to find the right place to focus. What I tend to do is I'll just zoom in and focus on the branches themselves because um, it's near impossible to get every leaf exactly sharp, but it seems to get a pretty good average focus of all the leaves that are on that. Uh, for now, I think that I'm happy enough with that to pack the camera up and uh, there's lots and lots of wash to check out here. So I think it's time to move on. So I myself up another composition, this time with a green and yellow looking bush that's up uh, against one of the walls of the canyon here in the wash. It gives us a nice contrast with the kind of white tan looking rocks in the foreground and then the reddish background. Looks pretty cool, I think. So I've set this one up at about 70 millimeters. Uh, F9 actually this time, one over five, ISO 100 and I filled the bush pretty much up on my right third of the composition and then there's just a slight arc in the canyon wall that goes off to the side and that's occupying the left of the frame. And by keeping it on the right third that keeps this tree right there out of my shot and helps me separate the scene from anything else distracting the, the sides of the frame. And once again I'm focusing on leaves in the tree here so what I'm attempting to do is get the main part that I want to catch your eye in extreme focus, which is kind of the leaves hanging closest to the bottom of the wash and the main trunk coming up. And if I focus directly on the leaf itself, the rest of it kind of falls soft. So I'm kind of playing it by ear here and focusing not quite for the bark of the limbs, but not just the leaves either, it's somewhere in between so that it's kind of acceptably sharp all over in the bush. I take that shot and then I focus for the far background on the canyon wall because I am close enough to my subject here that I'm getting some depth of field issues here and I want it all sharp. So I'll take a second exposure of the back of the canyon wall. And that's that. I think that's a wrap on this one. So 
pretty good luck in this wash here. I think I'm gonna back the camera up and keep going and see what else I can find. I'm on a roll, I think, so. So I turned the corner and found a place that's just full of awesome colors. Everything from greens to reds and in between oranges. Everything you can think of is just super colorful right here. Oddly enough, what I found was with good color, it's actually even harder to compose when I find trees that are full range of cool colors because then trying to fit it in a scene that, you know, makes sense as a photo is just a whole other thing. But I've got set up on something now that I think works. I hope works. Um, working with a few challenges though. I've got trees on the right side of the frame that I'm trying to keep out and I've got dead space and a log and some extra rocks in the foreground I'm trying to keep out on the left side. And I'm trying to just focus on this one row of really colorful trees. And I had to set up at about, about 60 mil, almost 70 millimeters. Um, F9, one over five again, um, ISO 100. And I'm actually having to crop this to a four by three crop, which is something I don't usually do a lot of, but in this case, it really helped keep the focus on the frame instead of all the distractions on the border. Well, I think that might be it for me today. It's a beautiful wash, but I'm starting to run out of sunlight here and uh, it's about 5.30 and it's getting darker and darker. I got a couple more days left in the park, so if I don't find anything else, I could always come back here and search for some more stuff. I feel like there's some more compositions in here. Just kind of got to spend some more time looking at it and I think I'd find them. So it's not a bad plan. I might be back here in the next day or two, but with that, thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.